Okay, now for this activity uh, by Henry Matisse. This is about his, um, turn this over, this is about his cutouts. Um, Henry Matisse was a, a wonderful artist uh, who worked all his life. And as he got older, I don't know if you can see that, as he got older, um, he wasn't able to walk around and paint anymore. He spent most of his time either in a wheelchair or in bed. Um, but he still carried on making wonderful pictures. And I think you can see some of them here. Um, there's a very famous one called the snail. I don't know if you can spot that. Um, he also made these beautiful collages of coloured papers. Um, sort of based on natural things. Um, he's very interested in seaweed. I don't know if you can spot any seaweed in these images. This piece here just looks a little bit like seaweed to me. Um, and that's what we're going to have a go at today. He used to get um, students to paint pieces of paper and then he would sit in bed and use his scissors to what he called paint with. He'd just sit there and cut out shapes from this coloured paper. And he considered that to be him painting using scissors. So that's what we're going to explore and play around with now. Just have fun with this one. It's nice and easy, but um, you can get some really good effects. So I've got lots of different scraps of paper. Uh, some things are from uh, old students' bits of work. Um, some things are like little bits of letters and bits of school stuff. I had a lot around on my desk, so I cleared my desk and uh, I'm now going to play around with all these bits of paper. First thing I've got to decide is what my background colour is going to be. Um, for my background, I think I want something fairly plain because I'm going to build up patterns on top of it. So I'm going to go for something fairly straightforward in the background, possibly the yellow. I like the yellow in um, his work here. So I'm going to try and use that as my background colour. Now this has hole punches down the side. Doesn't matter. Um, I can cut those off later. And just to get me started, I think I'm going to go for some leaf shapes using this pattern. This is a bit of marbled paper. Now it's too busy on the front to um, design any shapes, but if I flip it over, I can do some drawing of shapes on the back. So I'm going to go for, um, I might just sort of try and draw, go near the edge of it, so you don't waste your paper. I'm going to try and draw one of my pieces, sort of seaweedy shapes. Just pick one out of my head. There we go, that's quite a nice one. And if I like it, I can use that as a template if I need to for other pieces of work. Uh, I think I might also go for got this shiny paper here. Um, I might go for some other shapes out of this one. Similar sort of shapes. Um, maybe like little flowery, little flower head shapes. So in the corner again. I'm the wrong bit here, I need to go in this middle bit, remembering where my pattern is on the back. Sort of like a heart, but with more petals, if you like. I can go for some oh, patterns again. Oh, yeah. I can go for some do, 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 diamondy shapes, maybe. Um, I think I've seen those somewhere in his work. Sort of almost just like a square but squashed. And if I change the direction, now I'm going to stop the camera for a bit while I get some shapes cut out. I'll just show you the first one. So I'm going to oh, make sure you can see. 
Okay. I'm going to flicker it out first and see it on the background. Then I can just follow my line, pretend that my, my name's Matisse. And I'm going to paint with my scissors. So, a little bit tricky. But the good thing about this is it has to be a smooth line, but it doesn't have to be completely accurate. There we go. A nice dark blue petal shape. And that's going to go on to my yellow background. Now, before I start placing everything, um, like I said, I'm going to switch the camera off and make a few more shapes and then show you how to stick them down when I come back. Right, hello. Um, I've done what I said. It's taken me about ooh, 20 minutes, I think. And I've just cut out a whole load of different shapes from all my different papers. I don't want to show you the mess on the floor. I've dumped all my bits. Uh, because if your parents see it, they won't let you do this. Make sure you tidy up after you've uh, finished making your collage. Anyway, now what I'm going to do is try and see what my best composition is. That's where you put the bits together and see which, which effect looks best. So some of these shapes won't be used. Some of them I'll miss out. But I just want to play around for a minute and see what looks good, what works. And then I'll start to stick it in. It's a very easy task because it takes so little materials. All you need really is a glue stick, a pair of scissors and some old scrap paper, which you could get from old magazines as well. If you've got mum's got any old magazines or granny or anybody really, anybody you're allowed to talk to. So looking at the picture pictures that Matisse did. I quite like that one there at the top. Um, so that's what I'm going to use as my sort of inspiration. I'll put it next to my picture so you can sort of try and see it emerging. A bit of a squash screen but I can manage. So I'm looking at the blocky shapes in the background first. I want some blocky shapes but not too many. I think probably, uh, maybe just the four, something like that. And I've cut them on purpose, I've cut them at slightly funny angles, they're not quite square. So that might work, pull it in from the edge a bit so I can see a bit more of the yellow. Then some of the shapes to go on top, so I want some nice clashing colours, a bit like Matisse has got there, where he's got the uh, purple and orange or orange and bright pink. I don't know if you can see those. Should be on your uh, homework sheet when you get it. I quite like that. But I don't want everything to look too regular. So, what about... I don't like that. Hmm. I think I prefer this blue actually. Put some yellow in between. Mm -hmm. Too dull. in the plain a bit and splashes of orange the orange is my favourite um, where's this one going to go there maybe this is probably something I'm going to have to just, I might miss you out for a bit hang on, let's see 
you really do just have to play around until you feel what you've got works. So I might go and have five more minutes on this by myself and then get back to you and hope you like it. I'll stop there for now. <laughs> 